Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, My Intuition. Myself, Dr. Prasad Kodilam with the new class series of uh, Research Methodology and Intellectual Property Rights with the subject code 21 RMI56 and uh, Visheshara Technological University. The syllabus is uh, given by Visheshara Technological University and this particular uh, syllabus subject, uh, subject uh, it is the, for all the fifth semester students who joined uh, engineering in the year. 2021-22 irrespective of the branches you need to study this one because research methodology and the intellectual uh, information or uh, you are the uh, knowledge about intellectual property is very much important mm -hmm. because you are reached to a fifth semester now sixth semester seventh and eighth there you are you are uh, using the engineering knowledge whatever engineering uh, theoretical knowledge you are used to do a research, to do a mini project, to do a major project or continue in your uh, future because when you get a job means that you are doing research only, you are doing inventions, you are supporting an invention or you are being a part of that. So you need to know what are the methodologies followed in research which makes a good researcher or makes you uh, success in your work as well as what are the intellectual property rights that you need to take care otherwise you may be a failure in uh, after doing that research so that is covered in this particular uh, syllabus or so very much uh, rightfully uh, uh, placed in the fifth semester and it is therefore all the engineering students to know so uh, it uh, based on the syllabus is also given and uh, uh, it is based on the outcome based learning so nowadays the teaching is not just uh, teaching a particular subject as such after learning this particular subject what are the outcome of that uh, uh, for a student what you will gain what you will learn that is also very important so these five out outcomes defined by the university for this particular syllabus is also there here only module 1 is given like that module 2 module 3 module 4 module 5 is there each topic i'll be explaining in depth so this is the uh, uh, fourth video of uh, module 1 that means i'm covering uh, uh, i already covered meaning of research objectives of uh, uh, engineering research motivation engineering research and types of engineering research is that what I covering now this is the particular topic which I am covering right now ok so the uh, notes required uh, as textbook itself is given in the syllabus this textbook uh, only this textbook is mentioned in the syllabus you can download it this textbook you can download it uh, pdf form it is available you search in google uh, with this name Dipankar uh, Dev Rajiv Dev Valentini Balas uh, engineering research methodology you will get this one uh, I am referring that textbook only uh, the same uh, whatever given in that uh, that I am uh, making a point and uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation and uh, presenting to you I didn't prepare separate uh, study material for this because already it is there so no need to prepare a fresh one not required okay so you can refer this textbook and you can uh, so some points which I explain here some points which I give here that you can note it down so you have to take your uh, notebook you need to note down the important points then you refer the textbook and elaborate your answer accordingly okay so uh, this is topic four types of engineering research so based on that topic uh, a question is framed uh, which covering the cause outcome one with uh, level four i mentioned because uh, analyzing or understanding all this uh, it is for a student level it is level four okay so compare and contrast uh, types of engineering research and explain their uh, respective roles in uh, shaping discoveries and solving problems in the world or uh, in their field okay so answer key is given introduction descriptive research analytical applied fundamental quantitative and qualitative not going in depth it is there in the textbook um, just taken some of the points so the engineering research so students need to note down some of the important points then you refer the textbook and elaborate it so engineering research it, uh, uh, there are different uh, approaches uh, which plays a pivotal role in shaping the path of discovery and uh, innovation these approaches are like the same thing descriptive analytical applied fundamental quantitative as well as qualitative research just highlighting uh, what is the meaning and uh, uh, just with some of the examples i am uh, highlighting it uh, now much uh, details i am not going i am not giving uh, 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 pure examples and i am not giving 
just touching it uh, and uh, giving some uh, sample examples for uh, to understand it uh, the remaining thing you can go through the textbook and uh, understand so imagine uh, the descriptive research is to understand that you are a wildlife photographer nowadays everybody is a photographer almost everybody is having a iphone iphone having very good camera quality uh, and there are so many supporting software in that which will make you edit the videos so uh, uh, becoming a very good photographer and videographer you know um, imagine that you are a wildlife photographer and you are uh, doing that work uh, even an engineering student can also become a wildlife photographer can use your engineering uh, concepts whatever things learned whatever technology that you are using can use it and you can go and become a wildlife photographer i am not objecting that you should not become a wildlife photographer okay you can become a wildlife photographer but when you are capturing that uh, uh, images of animals uh, without disturbing them so a lot of technology required to safeguard ourselves that is also why you are in the engineering field i can say okay so your goal is to document it how they live what are the different species of animals how they behave second to second you are i have to observe it you have to capture it because to tell someone you need a proof so this is the proof that you are collecting the data you are collecting as a photography or a videography and based on that you are analyzing and you are uh, telling uh, how they behave in their natural habitat uh, and you are just describing it your goal is to document and show different species how they work that is the uh, descriptive research analytical research a different uh, style of uh, research that you have to imagine yourself as a forensic investigator okay a detective okay a scientific detective not just a uh, police person no? you are a very good uh, knowledge about uh, the engineering science other sciences uh, biological sciences uh, then you are uh, doing an investigation now uh, to examining a crime scene okay so you need to do a lot of analytics uh, analytic uh, research okay so you are not just documenting the evidences uh, you are uh, collecting the clues uh, collecting some of the pieces uh, collecting uh, some dna samples or so and uh, you are trying to understand why the crime happened and who might be responsible uh, for that okay so uh, you are like a problem solver uh, un 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 unraveling the mysteries behind the incident so doing lot of analytics analytical uh, work uh, analyzing it uh, using biology biological methods or other methods scientific methods you are doing it and engineering uh, could involve investigating a product failure to uh, determine the root causes and uh, prevent uh, the future issues uh, is also a part of analytical research now applied research applied research means uh, uh, immediate uh, solution required using uh, the knowledge think about a car manufacturer they uh, facing a problem with their vehicle uh, suddenly uh, stalling they conduct research to identify and fix the immediate issue ensuring that the car runs smoothly and safely on the road okay it's like providing a quick solution to keep the things running we call it as applied research now fundamental research fundamental research example if i take a, the example of an astronomer studying the origins of the galaxies and the fundamental laws of universe they are only framing the fundamental laws that uh, the universe is working like this this is the uh, law which uh, can be uh, defined based on that the other things will happen okay the things will happen based on that particular law so they delve into the deepest questions about the cosmos aiming to the expand of our uh, understanding of universes uh, the structure how the things are getting evolved uh, what are the things uh, happening okay uh, it's not about uh, solving an immediate problem but uh, gaining profound knowledge okay recently i seen an interview of uh, the sir i i present isro chairman you can check the date when i am recording the video so you should know who is the present isro chairman i was telling that uh, already the studies are done that uh, after so many 40000 billion or million years uh, forgot the exact uh, the the sun will expand keep on expand and it reaches to a certain level that will reach to the earth it will swallow the earth it will swallow the entire universe then it becomes a very uh, tiny one uh, unit star and uh, it will uh, disappear and another universe will have uh, will uh, will uh, reproduce 
and there are places uh, where uh, even uh, water content is identified but we don't know how to reach there uh, okay so these are the things which i which i when i seen that interview i came to know so these are part of the fundamental research okay so based on the theory concept or the based on the how the things work they analyzed it and identified now engineering research is required to reach there okay engineers are only required to make us to reach there uh, so many years after so not to worry not, not about us our uh, children or grandchildren or their grandchildren uh, they will not be affected but after that uh, it has to be done by the time uh, our uh, engineers will uh, do something okay now quantitative research quantity meaning is quantity only how much quantity is yes, there example uh, if you are a market researcher uh, doing uh, work for a, a smartphone company you are uh, you know the features of a smartphone uh, you know how, how does it work you are doing a market survey you are trying to understand how the people are using it uh, what they likes what they don't like uh, whether uh, they like the fast speed of the uh, uh, screen movement or uh, whether they like the font size which is given there or the font given or they like some special features uh, or they like the battery life of the uh, smartphone like that you are doing a market research uh, uh, taking the quantity how many people the quantity is they taking you are collecting uh, making a statistical data okay uh, to draw conclusion making it clear that a certain percentage prefers larger screens or better battery life that type of research is a quantitative research now this last one qualitative research qualitative research like conducting in-depth interviews with a few individuals to uh, understand their uh, personal experiences with a uh, new technology uh, uh, to explore their unique stories and insights diving deep into their perspective on how the technology has impacted their lives imagining and creating stories also not creator stories but which will connect uh, to people to understand uh, what it is. It's about quality over the quantity, focusing on the uh, rich narratives and uh, human experiences. We have to expand uh, after uh, analyzing the little bit psychological approach it is. Uh, how many, uh, why, why it is happening so, why people are doing so. Uh, so such uh, uh, researches can be classified under qualitative research. Okay, this is not part 3, part 4, uh, previous one also I did the same thing, mistake, I won't uh, edit this page, okay. Uh, okay, so this is part 4 of uh, module 1, thank you very much for uh, being with me, please do subscribe, please, please do subscribe and support, uh, majority of people are not subscribing, they are simply watching it and uh, uh, even they are not subscribing, if you are watching, if you are getting some information from this, please do subscribe and support me, please share this information to others also. My YouTube channel is My Intuition, the logo is this one, I only made this logo, I don't know how it happened, okay, it's My Intuition, not My Institution, huh? some people are asked, they saw your videos in uh, your YouTube channel, My Institution, huh? it is not My Institution, it is My Intuition. Huh? And uh, my intuition, uh, four or five YouTube channels are there. The four to uh, separate, uh, I have a handle uh, at uh, actually it is at my intuition four eight six five. So thank you very much once again, and have a nice day.